Hey guys, this is Jason from Travel Sphere Canada coming you with a quick video on how to make a payment for your ICAS application. Now, many of you know that uh, when you're making an application to ICAS, you basically have around three to five seconds to create an application for which you have to get a slot. And then after you create the application, you maybe have another three to five seconds to make your payment to application. I think uh, when I was doing my first payment to ICAS, uh, the way I saw it is that when you hit the submit button, the submit button has to then go and hit the server on ICAS. So sometimes when the load is a lot more, there is a chance that even though you may have hit the, sub the submit button, the action may actually, actually take place probably three to five seconds or sometimes even 10 seconds what I noticed when it hits the server. So make sure when you are checking the time for Alberta, you are not converting the time from IST to Alberta time, but you're actually on this website called timeanddate.com. And this is where you actually get the Alberta time. I actually go one step further. You know, instead of this analog clock, what I would normally do is when I'm doing an application, I would convert this to digital. So to convert this to digital, what you do is you can see this small square over here. Just click on that square and it converts to digital. So when putting in the applications, this really helps me a lot, especially in keeping the timings when I have to hit the submit button. So when you're on this page, you also, you also need to make sure that you have disabled all your pop-ups. So you should allow pop-ups to actually come on the page. So you have to go to your settings on your Chrome page and allow pop-ups to come on your page. If you do not allow pop-up to come on your page in that case, even you may, even though you may get through the, the button, the submit button, there would be no pop-up coming up for you to make a payment. So what I would normally do is I would normally, or I know there are many videos that say open four or five videos. What I would do is open 10 videos. So I would probably, uh, du not 10 videos, but 10 screens. So I would duplicate this like 10 times. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then, and so on. So I would at least to be safe because I remember the last time when I tried to make a payment to application, it's the window when I clicked on, you know, the 814.40, that window actually got me a slot to make the payment. So you will first click on the first submit button at uh, 814, then at 814, then 814.20, 814.30, 8, 14, 40. And after 8, 14, 40, what you should do is then maintain a five second gap. So 8, 14, 45, 8, 14, 50, 8, 14, 55, and 8, 15, and 8, 15, 01, and 8, 15, 05. These are the windows I open. You never know which uh, window may actually uh, give you the payment. So it's like we say in Hindi, Marang or Tukka. So that's what I do. So I guess one of the, the reason I'm actually making this video is of course to the, for the submit button. But today while putting in an application, I actually came across another problem, which I'm sure most of you would have not faced in getting the submit button. And there are many videos out there that uh, on YouTube that show you how to get a submit button. Some are pretty good, some are not so good. So I have learned from the good videos how to get a submit button. So I'll show you very quickly, how do you get the submit button? You right click and you click on inspect. After you click on inspect, click on console, right click, clear console, refresh. Now you hit refresh, then you go to network. Network, it says reach daily limit and unblock. If it's unblocked, again, you right click and you block request URL. And again, you refresh. And there you go. You get the submit button. So that's pretty straightforward, which most of the videos uh, show you on YouTube already. I'm going to do something which I don't think many videos show you, or I don't think any video show you at least has for my research. So I'm going to change a few settings over here and I'm going to cut it now and start it again after I've changed the settings. Okay. So what I already did is I went to console. I right click on console. I refresh the page and this is the page I'm showing right now. And I now go on to network and has most of the videos on YouTube tell you that once you go to the network tab in your console, right click and 
click on unblock again right click and click on block url now see what happens do you see that so this happened to me and it really frustrated me and i had to investigate what actually is happening so what i found was this now this is another payment gateway i did what i found was this when you right click again you click on inspect and you go to console right click on console clear console refresh okay now here it is go to network when you right click on reach daily limit right click make sure that this is not unblocked the second option the domain option click on this first if that's unblocked okay and again right click and you have to unblock this again right click and you have to block only the url request not block the request for the domain so block url repress sorry block url request refresh there you go bada bing bada boom so this is a quick video for you like in case any of you guys are actually applying for icas and this is how you do in the payment uh, for icas so let me know in the comments if you've actually faced this problem and if this video actually helped you so see you in the next video very soon ciao